Well, Informed TV viewers, we're going to look at an interesting business, an essential business at times for all of us, and it's right across from the Alexandria Airport, right across from the Bark Barn, that's a daycare center for dogs during the day, at night, and during the weekend. So what we're going to do is go in and talk to the folks and the owner, Jerry, that owns Midwest Lock and Door right here in the great city of Alexandria, Minnesota. Well, Inform TV, we're at the locksmith today and you see some of the keys in the background. He's been extremely busy this morning uh, with about four people in here. And now we're gonna get a little bit of a chance to uh, talk to Jerry. And Jerry, tell the community in the Alexandria Lakes area or any place in Minnesota, what you're up to here with Midwest Locks. Introduce your full name and a little background, Jerry, first. Okay. Speak loud. I'm Jerry Luke, and I grew up here in Alexandria, and back in 85 I moved to Brainerd, which then I was in Brainerd for 32 years, and, and then I moved back here about six years ago, six, seven years ago, and uh, back to my hometown. That sounds good. What year did you graduate in high school here then? Uh, 86. Okay. Yeah, class of 86, so I, I didn't get to graduate here in Alec, but but uh, I, I went my last year in Brainerd. Okay. And graduated there. Very good. You got all these keys here and everybody at times needs you, your uh, business and, yeah. and your employees to help them out. So yeah. uh, give us a little background of how long you've been doing this. Uh, oh gosh, I started back in 2000 actually. So doing this type of work. But I've been in the service work for longer. Okay. Yeah, yeah, back in 2000. So bought out a small little lock shop in Brainerd, and that's where I'm, when it all started. Yeah. And so, from a standpoint today, people were wondering uh, what is your main function? Do you do changing locks or, or getting people out of their car or whatever? Just give us a typical day because you well, already started very busy here. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, it has a lot to do with cutting keys for people, uh, unlocking doors, uh, not only car doors, but homes if they get locked out of their homes. And we do a, quite a bit of vehicle um, keys. If you lost your key, we can usually get a new key for you made. Uh, we do a lot of programming of keys. And we rekey homes and, and commercial buildings too. And we do a lot of the door hardware work too for people. So if you have bad hinges, bad locks, bad closures, stuff like that, uh, weather stripping on um, commercial buildings and stuff too. So, yeah. And so, you guys, one of the things, one of your customers in here were talking about electronic key and uh, uh, anything that way. You can come on in, guys. We're, we're just doing a little shoot that one of the staff can take care of you. Yeah. And uh, um, what's your thought on electronic keys or cars now without keys? Uh, yes. How do you guys get involved in that? Well, yeah, it's, if a lot of people would lose their keys for their vehicles and stuff like that, they a lot of the push to start or fob keys they call them, we can uh, redo those for you, get new ones. Yeah. But as far as the average citizen, we're going to be using keys for a long time, right, Jerry? Yeah, there's always a use for a hard key somewhere down the road. It doesn't matter if you have uh, card access systems on your building and stuff like that. You still have to have some type of override if something goes bad some type of locking device, and it's gonna need a key to override it. What's the typical area that you service here, how, geographically? How far out do you go? We actually uh, go all the way down to almost St. Cloud, uh, Fergus, Benson, Wadena, Sabika. We even still service the Brainerd area a little bit yet too, so yeah, so it's quite a distance. What about commercial-wise? How, how big are you? are you tied up with some schools and hospitals and that type of thing or not? Oh yeah, yeah, we do a lot of uh, schools, uh, commercial uh, buildings as far as the colleges and yeah, hospitals. We do a little bit of the hospitals, but sometimes they have their in-house people do them too. But we do help them out from time to time with a lot of the store hardware and items like that, but uh, they have 
have a lot of card access system, so it's a little more keep track of who's going where in a lot of areas. But yeah. I walk by and I see your three vehicles heading out just about every day. Where would you normally head out to? Oh gosh, uh, it's all over the place. We're, we're doing commercial work every day. We're doing uh, residential work every day. Um, we don't have any real set route per day, each day. It just depends on who needs who needs us. Uh, as the calls come in, we can whoever calls first. Put them in line. Any advice to people when they're bought in a new or a different house or move in a different apartment or our vehicle? What what do you see as being smart with a key? Yes, if, if you're buying a new home, it would be good to have the home re key because you never know who has keys. Um, you know, friends of the family and neighbors, you know, it's anybody could have a key to that home, so it's a good idea to have peace of mind to. Uh, lock up your room, especially in today's society, that's a good idea. And is there anything new as far as the type of uh, 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 way this uh, good looking gentleman here, he could walk uh, uh, a lock system in to, to re-key it and, and uh, uh, any word to the wise as far as what you should be thinking about when they come in to get your service here? Yeah, it's a good idea to call ahead of time to make sure we're around. And then uh, it is a good thing to bring in uh, both keys, the one the existing key to the lock or the, the new key you wanted to, or we can make a new key for you for that lock. Uh, we do do uh, uh, service calls to the home, or you can bring your lock in to have a free key here too. So, but it's a good thing to call ahead of time, and we can do pretty much anything. We can do the knobs on your door, the levers, uh, the deadbolts, free key. So it's good to get them all keyed the same. That sounds good. Anything else you want to cover while you're in your uh, office, so to speak, here? And then we'll move into your shop and you can tell about the, the bigger picture when you're working on doors and offering doors for sale. Uh, this is pretty much it. Okay, let's move to your shop. <laughs> okay. What are you up to today, Zach? I'm rekeying some locks for a customer who came in this morning. Uh, we brought in a deadbolt and two handles and one of the one of the handles was not functional so we're replacing a handle for them and uh, re keying all the all the locks to one key for them so he can go and put them back on his on his house there. A so. key, key point to have a shop and take care of things right so. Right. Yep. Yeah. So we sit at the shop for about an hour every day or some days two hours and uh, see who comes in and what they need and cut car keys and uh, program vehicles and re-key locks and everything everything to do with anything with a key pretty much so wonderful Zach have a great week, uh, week. thank you well informed TV now we're moving into the shop area of Midwest Lock uh, here in Alexandria. Every business needs a place to store things, do some manual uh, changing in Jerry's business here. Uh, they sell some doors, uh, redo some doors. Uh, Jerry, talk about what you guys would typically do in the shop area. A lot of times when we're installing uh, doors and frames, we will prep them here. Uh, we also, when we install those doors and frames they become from the factory they'll be just um, uh, primer coated so they're not painted to the color so a lot of times we'll paint your door prior to installation so that helps uh, uh, preserve the door because uh, a lot of the manufacturers they want the doors painted within 60 days of insulation uh, to keep the warranty on and not always when a door is installed that you see it painted so it's, it's good to have them painted prior to put them in. And that's one thing we offer when we do the doors. We also uh, will prep them for, uh, for the locks and the door closures, any of the hardware and stuff like that before we uh, install them so everything's ready to go. It makes the on-site installation go faster. Now, many of the people watching this in the Alexandria Lakes area would be thinking about Okay, I, I, I leave on work and, and I got kids at home 
or I've got a, a daughter living uh, 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 in the Twin Cities where crime is on the rise. What, what should they be thinking about uh, as far as a deadbolt, as far as a, a, a chain to uh, look at somebody or a, a peephole through? Do you do the peepholes and that type of thing if somebody wants it to, so they can see who's out there? Yes, yes, we do peepholes and we also do a, a larger uh, view scope, it's called. Okay. Uh, so it depends if it's on a commercial door or, or a residential door. It's a larger uh, view, uh, field of view. So instead of the small little people where you gotta get real close to yep. look at, you can, you can be actually a couple of feet away from those and you can see through the door and see who's there, if they have anything on them that you don't want them to let them in. Uh, it's a little easier to see that way. Um, and, and as far as security wise, uh, deadbolt is by far your best way to go. Uh, if your doors don't have, especially your exterior doors, if they don't have any deadbolts on them, it is a good thing to have those installed. And we can do that if, if your door is not prepped your residential door, commercial door, if it's not prepped for a deadbolt, we can go on site and cut those in and, and make them work for you that way. And it's a good idea. We always um, state that if, if you have deadbolt, you don't need a locking lever or knob down below. Um, two reasons. Uh, a, the deadbolt is a lot stronger, harder to defeat, harder to kick in if somebody tried to do that. Second thing is, is with a deadbolt, you need a physical key to lock yourself out. So a lot of times if you have the locking knobs or the locking levers, um, some of those don't unlock when you leave and when the door shuts behind you, you're locked out of your home. But with a deadbolt, you have to have a physical key to lock yourself out. So it helps that way. And then from a standpoint, somebody building a new house or uh, remodeling their house or just bought one, what is fun, far as doors, you know, people are uh, concerned about uh, uh, sound. Do, do you have a certain type of door? Is there grades on doors that are building a new house? So when the uh, company uh, at Thanksgiving goes to the bathroom, that you don't hear what's going on in there? Any thought that way, Jerry? Yeah, a, a solid core door is your better door. Uh, some of the commercial, oh, excuse me, some of the uh, residential doors are actually a hollow core door and you can pretty much tell the difference in those by handling of them, um, uh, knocking on them a little bit if they're hollow core. And your solid core door is going to deaden the sound a lot better than a, than a uh, your solid core will deaden the sound better than a hollow core door. And as far as then, as if uh, somebody's putting in a new door to the outside, obviously for security, those doors, is there a code or something that you go by that should be this uh, strong uh, as far as so nobody can kick it in or that type of thing, or isn't there such a thing? Well, the, yes and no. I mean, obviously, if you have a full glass window door, which are nice and you know, they're pretty looking, um, but uh, if you do do that, make sure that it's prepped for uh, a deadbolt and uh, the lever or knob uh, so that you can do the deadbolt. Because if, if they can't kick your door in, they're going to break your glass. But if they break your glass, at least you know somebody broke into your home. Exactly. So or may still be in there when you get home. Right. Or, you know, if it, it, well, I always tell the guys, it's kind of a joke, that if they have to break your glass, you can always follow the blood trail somewhere. <laughs> yes. But yeah, so yeah, having a full glass uh, window is not as safe as, you know, like your half glass or a smaller view of glass. But having the deadbolt with the lever or a knob down below is your best bet. Well, Jerry, my, my thought is for anybody in the community, if you really want to be safe and you want to have uh, the right equipment in your door, uh, uh, Midwest Lock and Key is the place to come. Jerry's had a lifetime experience in this, this area. And anything else you want to advise people when they're talking with their relatives to stay away from politics or whatever, uh, what they should think about if they're uh, being told we're building a new house, remodeling a house, we're going to change some doors or keys. What, what would you recommend they talk about? 
A BSA is, if it, whether it's a, a new installation or a new home or, or you're buying an existing home, always rekey the house. Always, even after the construction's done, to make sure that none of the construction people have a key. You know, and, and in an existing home, make sure that none of the friends and family or whatever of the existing owners have the key. And always have dead boy on your bed. Sounds great, Jerry, and I wish you a happy holiday season. It was a pleasure to film you.